Hello viewers, I am going to show you the substrate cultivation. Now we are going to explain about the uh, cocoa peat. And you see the grower uh, is using uh, cocoa peat which is uh, fourth time. And I am going to show you the uh, grow bag height. The height of the grow bag, the height of the grow bag is 23 centimeter. And then the dia is 30 centimeter. Dia is 30 centimeter. If you see the cocoa peat, the chip percentage initially it was 20 percent, 20 percent chips, and uh, rest 80 percent was the cocoa peat. Since it is the fourth time uh, grower is using the cocoa peat for the fourth time, they have added perlite. They have added perlite uh, approximately 150 gram per uh, per grow bag, and also peat mass uh, approximately 50 grams uh, per grow bag. So the perlite and uh, perlite does the an activity of giving the more porosity and also the peat moss will help in uh, you know flushing out and uh, uh, acting as a buffer for the e EC. So this grow bag uh, the dry weight is around uh, 1.5 to 1.7 kg and the wet weight will be around 9 to 11, uh, 9 to 11 kgs, 9 to 11 liters. So many people have a question. Uh, if I buy a cocoa peat expensive one which cost around 24 to 28 rupees, how many times I can use this cocoa peat? Normally uh, every time the grower change the cocoa peat and sometimes because of the expensive in thing uh, we can use for second time, third time and fourth time after washing with the good quality of water flushing out uh, salts and everything. Uh, we can also add perlite and uh, peat moss every uh, as and when is required. Like. Uh, this can be this cocoa peat can be used for three times and four times. The uh, crop what the grower is planning is uh, sweet pepper, and after sweet pepper again, they uh, remove the crop and then they wash the cocoa peat, add perlite and uh, and peat moss, and this can be used for uh, uh, cucumber and also tomato. Uh, so this is how uh, we are going to use these grow bags uh, for four or five years because the grow bag also has a life. Uh, it has 160 to 170 GSM thickness and that can be used uh, for many many years let's say for instance three four five years and the cocoa peat after the crop can be washed and then uh, all the salts are flushed out and with this addition of perlite and uh, peat moss it can be reused and one one parameter that what we have to take care is uh, the cocoa peat the second time used cocoa peat, the third time used cocoa peat, uh, due to uh, decomposition, the peat content will go up, will have a false drainage. It is does not have much porosity. In order to increase the porosity, we are adding the perlite. So if we address the drainage issue, and also with the treatment of uh, uh, little treatment of fungicides and insecticides, and the floor canal after the floor, the mopping is done, and this sanitization will also happen with insecticide and the fungicide. The sanitization happens for entire area. After sanitization, the project is good to go for planting. Thank you.